So to find out if there are safe ways for storing this fuel, please welcome Dr. Inas Abohamed. Inas, you're very welcome. So tell me, why are you such a fan of hydrogen? Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the hydrogen molecule. It's a really interesting molecule. Uh, first, it's the smallest molecule in the universe, and yet it has got the potential to solve the biggest problem that we have in the world, which is climate change. Uh, and why is that? Because hydrogen has got a lot of energy uh, uh, density in it. Uh, it's a leading candidate for that. Uh, so we can uh, generate and store a lot of energy in hydrogen and we, we would not need to uh, produce emissions when we burn it or when we convert it electri electrochemically into electricity because of the simple reason that it doesn't have any carbon to start with. So that's a very elegant solution. It's fantastic. So it's a pollution-free energy source. So tell me, this is your machine. How is it storing hydrogen safely and what are you doing with it? So uh, what we do here in terms of storing the hydrogen safely is that we simply don't store it as gas. What we do is we avoid that process, convert the hydrogen chemically into solid state, and I have here a bag. I have the material that we actually use in this reactor. It's a small amount of chemical powders mm -hmm. that when we expose it to hydrogen, it absorbs a huge amount of it. Wow. For example, in this reactor, we can store 2,000 liters wow. of hydrogen at a pressure that is equivalent to the coffee machine that we have in our kitchens. So totally safe to have it here. And then this hydrogen is here, so whenever we want to, we can turn it back into electricity. Exactly. Can so, we do that right now? It, yes. So we, we have the hydrogen here stored in solid mm -hmm. state. When we want electricity out of it, we will release it back to its free form, uh, which is the molecule gas, mm -hmm. convert that electrochemically using a fuel cell, which we have here. Wow. And that will basically give us power. Excellent. So can we turn it on? Yeah, let's turn it on. Go for it. Just like that, it's so amazing, it doesn't make any noise, yet it is producing the energy already to turn on our hydrogen sign. So it is safe, clean, and it doesn't have any noise. It's amazing, I love it. So what else can we get this amazing device to power up? We have some things here in us that will be typical in any teenager's bedroom. So we can turn them all on with this amazing gas whenever we want to. But Anas, is it, is it just electricity or what more can we do with So this is, this is just one example of all the electricity that we have in this small unit, we could basically use it to power uh, our homes or what's in wow. our homes. Today we can't do it, but it's coming in the future because we're really interested to decarbonize our energy. But this isn't the only place where we can actually reduce our emissions without affecting our productivity. On the road, for example, the long distance that we could achieve with hydrogen, if we compare it, for example, to electric batteries, they cannot hold enough energy for as long. And hydrogen is a much better candidate at doing that if we wanted to have like a very long trip and not having to stop multiple times on the road to charge. So the opportunities are so many with hydrogen and it's, I can see how certainly it's gonna be part of a zero carbon future for us all. Inas, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Tara, for having me. Thank you.